got my clay on the wheel here. I've given it a good push so it's secure. Now I'll start the wheel spinning. Notice how it's not even here. My goal here with centering is to get it even. So I'm going to have wet palms and I'm going to lean my palms into the clay. Now this is pretty dry clay and it's wobbling around quite a bit so I'm going to use my elbow against my body to lean in and if I'm steady I can get the clay steady. If I'm not steady or if I let the clay push me around the clay is never going to get even. I'm never quite going to get it centered. It's really important to get yourself well braced um, so that you aren't bouncing around all over the place. I cut away that clay at the bottom because it was too, uh, too well attached to the wheel head. Um, I couldn't get my hand that low. So I'm pushing it down. I'm using this part of my hand. And you see I'm at a little bit of an angle. I'm leaning down. My right hand is acting as a brace also caught a little bump there. I could feel that with the side of my hand, so I used my fingertip to get rid of it. And I'm leaning my body weight into the clay from the top and from the side. My elbow is against my hip or my leg so that it can't move. It can't get pushed back and forth. So now that that's flat across the top, flat across the side, or down the side, I'll go ahead and drill my hole. It's important to set. You don't want to just point in wherever. You want to set your hand, start the hole, grab some water, and now that you're steady you can continue to go down. Leave yourself enough floor that you can trim a foot and you can measure that floor or after some practice you just got it. It was sticking so I added some water. I'm compressing my rim now I'm going to open out that floor. I'm particularly concerned about creating the shape of my floor. My wall can stay thick or I can move it all the way over. I do not want my right hand to move. So that's opening out the floor. I've got some bumps but I can take care of those later. Compress my rim and now I'm going to pull up the wall. Start at the bottom, squeeze those points together, point on the inside, point on the outside. Slow the wheel speed down, let up your pressure, compress the rim. Always remember to compress the rim and get the water out of the inside. You're going to have a bowl with rips on the rim and cracks on the floor. I'll add a little bit of water now for that wall. And I'm going to grab this clay all the way at the very bottom. And then I can continue my controlled pull nice and slow. My wheel could slow down even more than this. Compress my rim.